How do you create a schematic symbol in Altium Designer? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that from start to finish. And a quick note, if you're not using Altium 365, you're missing out. You know, if you want to manage your component libraries, you can do that for free on their platform. Just, set, just sign up for an account, click the link in the description below, and then you can set up your component libraries. So let's say you have audio components that you want to keep track of. You can create your component like I'm showing you in this tutorial. Then once you do that, sign up for a free account. It's not a subscription. You just use it for free. Click on the description and then upload your parts. Then you can see the previews of the parts, the availability as well. Okay. And you can manage your footprints on your schematic symbols and footprints online that way. So I strongly recommend it. Don't use like, don't bother using Dropbox and Git and all this stuff. You could use those, but this, this uses a bit Git version control for your components and your projects anyway. So, and it's free. Why not do it? Okay, let's continue. Make sure you have a project open or a schematic symbol library open. Here I have my voltage regulators library open along with a component. This is already the schematic symbol. I'll go ahead and delete this. Then we'll create one from scratch. So by default, you're gonna have a component in here in the library already. Then you have the option to name it. I'm going to go ahead and name it the IC reg linear 5 volt 1 AD pack. Okay. For the designator, you will have U, you know, a U question mark. Since it's an IC, you use the U reference designator. For the comment, I like to use the manufacturer part number. So the manufacturer part number I'll pull from DigiKey actually. So we'll just copy this from here and then. I'm also going to close this panel. Now I'll put this as a comment. You can put whatever you want in the comment. That's fine. But I like to use the uh, manufacturer part number. Detailed description from DigiKey. Then we have the parameters. I'll add at minimum my manufacturer. Then I'll add another parameter, manufacturer part, part number. The manufacturer part number will be this number and the manufacturer is ON semi or ON semiconductor for the full name. That's the minimum you need for a part. Let's go and place our pins. So go to place pins, hit the tab key. A few things here for the designator, choose the pin designator is one input is the name of the designator. Then the electrical type set to the appropriate type input. I got these from the data sheet. So now click on the pause and then place the edge of your pin one right on there in the origin of the schematic. Now something very important, your grid in the lower left corner of the screen, keep that at 100 mils. Next, let's hit tab because we have another pin, pin number two attached to the cursor, the name that will be ground. Then electrical type, is power. Oh, for the pin length, set this to 200 mils instead of 300 mils if yours is longer. Hit the pause, then rotate this with the space bar. I'll place this somewhere here. How do I know the pin is oriented correctly? This box, these little, these four little dots, that's where your wires connect. I can click and drag this down. Let's place another pin, place pin, then hit tab key. The designator is three. The name, you could leave it three, but no, call it output. It's the output. And it's an output type for electrical type. In length, yeah, everything's good. Go ahead, press the pause button, space bar, rotate this thing. Remember that box where your cursor is connected to goes to the outside of this box, the part. Hit escape key, and now you're good to place a rectangle. So let's go ahead and place a rectangle or box these boxes you see in Altium, click and release to place the box. You don't have to drag it. Okay. And then uh, this is good, right? And then you hit escape, click and drag that ground in there somewhere. I don't like the, I like it to be equidistant. So let's drag that to the right of it, right to the one over. You can increase the size of the box by clicking and then dragging the edge of it, the cursor changing. 
Next, we need to send this box to the back of the canvas so we can see our text. So let's go to Edit, Move, Send to Back. We're in Send to Back mode. Anything we click on will be sent to the back of the schematic page. Click your box once, gets sent to the back. Now we can see our text. We're pretty much done here, except you should save this part. You can right click on the top tab and just save the library that saves the part within the library on the library. To view the schematic panel, go to view panels, choose schematic library. That shows all the parts in your schematic library. And then go to your projects tab. Your projects tab, you've got say a voltage regulator, right? Double click on it. Now in my project, I want to place a part. How do I do that? Go to place part. The components panel will open. Then you need to scroll down this list, open this list, go down it, then open that library. That's a part of that project. Click on it, double click on the part you just created and then place it. You can also drag the part onto the canvas or you can right click place the part on the canvas. And there you go.